my little fellow hipsters, I, I am an easygoing fellow, believe it or not, but when it comes to UI and specifically design choices, specifically through the BECU business banking app, I have to express just a tiny bit of frustration. So join me on this journey. Stroke your mustache and ask yourself, why in the world did they launch this app? So let's hop right into the actual screen share of this app in action. Let's do this. All right, before we log in, here is proof that they have completely disowned this app. When we click log in, <laughs> you will see a photo pop up there. See this photo? <laughs> that has not been updated since the dawn of time, since they have forced this horrible app onto people. Now, you may be like, wow, Bo, it's just a photo. It's no big deal. No, 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 that, that's just evidence that they pretty much have set and forgot this app and will not update anything. I don't know who they outsource this app to. Maybe it's an overseas company, which is a little concerning since my finances are directly correlated to the stability of this institution and also this app itself. And yet they can't do something as simple as maybe update a photo every once in a while. But anyway, you know what? We're going to talk about the navigation, shall we? <laughs> now, I apologize in advance if this gives you gray hair, uh, but we're going to go ahead and hop. Oh, by the way, if you see, I only have a hundred bucks in my bank account for my business. <laughs> you may be like, wow, Bo, who, who are you talking about? You're really not that successful. That's because that has been parked there for a little while because I've already transitioned over to Chase Bank. Yes, don't judge me too harshly. I've just done a deal with the devil, but it is infinitely easier to manage my finances over on Chase. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about things here. All right, let's, whoever designed the user interface, it, is is has the brain of a monkey <laughs> might be an insult to some monkeys out there so first of all see that funds transfer down in the lower left yeah odds are you're going to be transferring quite a bit of funds between your checking and savings okay we can click on that okay but wait there's a redundant option if you go in the upper right and click on more there's also that same option under funds transfer they have it in two different locations which is totally unnecessary i don't get it Okay, and I don't know why statements is under more. That's kind of weird. But anyway, so right off the bat, just ignore that more in the upper right. It means absolutely nothing. Okay, so now we're going to click on home down there. Make sure that we are home. Funds transfer, that's self-explanatory. Here you go right there. Super easy, right? Like, okay, no big deal. Bill payment. Well, that's interesting. Let's click on bill payment. Oh, now, now it opened up like this iframe of some kind that sends us to another service, which it's been deactivated. <laughs> We're going to ignore that. All right, that was pointless. Let's go into menu in the lower right, shall we? Clickety click that. All right, quiz time. Where would funds transfer be? Would it be under transactions? That would make sense, right? Because it, this would be a transaction between, let's say, your checking or savings account. Click on that. Oh, yep, there it is, funds transfer. But wait, why isn't it under cash management? Oh, cash management is external payment. What, who, who designed the hierarchy of this? Okay, administration, security preferences, alerts. Oh, 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 this is one of my favorites. See settings down here, we're gonna click on that. There's one option under settings. <laughs> what, what, why do you even have the settings to click on? As a matter of fact, well, other things that should be under settings should be like security preferences. Don't you think that should be under settings? Or alerts or user management. Don't you think that should be under settings? <laughs> Who designed the hierarchy of this? This is insane. Okay, 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 okay. Let's say we're at this screen right here and I need to transfer $20,000 via wire transfer to an overseas company in China. I, I do that. I sell a lot of stuff on Amazon. As a matter of fact, if you look up tactical hair clips, yes, I'm one of the top selling people over there. All right, shameless plug. But yeah, yeah, I sell tactical hair clips and they're really cool. So I have to place a huge o order overseas, right? So I need to send a wire transfer. Let's do that. We're going to click on menu right there. All right, where do you think wire transfer would be? The, the initial funds transfer was under transactions. I'm sure wire transfer is under here. No, it's not. There's business bill pay, but as you well know, 
that's not active on our account. Okay, let's go back to menu. All right, it's not under transactions, so funds transfer, BECU pay. By the way, what's the difference between business bill pay and BECU payments? Is there any difference between those, these two? Let's just click on BECU payments and see where that brings us. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a one-time to a loan line of credit. So what's the difference between this and bill pay, right? Okay, anyway, anyway, we're gonna click clear and go back to our menu. Oh wait, no, that doesn't take us back. It just, it just clears everything. All right, we need to go back to menu. All right, once again, remember what we were looking for? Wire transfer. All right, that's gotta be under services. Let's click on that. No, it's not under services. Wouldn't wire transfer be a service that BECU provides? The only other option kind of is cash management. Click on that. Oh, look at that. Okay, apparently you can send a wire from here. Maybe. External payments though. Doesn't external payments sound suspiciously like business bill pay and BECU payments? Who organized this? All right. Let's click on external payments and see if that brings us to a wire transfer option. Payments hub? Payments hub, that, that sounds like bill pay or BECU payments. What the heck is a payments hub? Okay, let's just click on new payment. Okay, wire, domestic wire. Click on wire. Okay, I'm clicking on wire right now in case you're wondering because I want to send an international wire. Oh, I guess I can send an international wire. Chase allows you to send an international wire. By the way, see that notification up top? If you if you click X and get rid of that, uh, don't worry, next time you log in, it will be there. That's right. If you can't stand notifications notifying you, especially when they're redundant notifications, <laughs> it'll be there next time you log in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have new payment. Wow, I guess there's only one option to send a domestic wire. Oh, look at that. See, see that notification up there? It's back. It's called Notification White Noise, where essentially an app, when it's poorly designed, when it sends you so many notifications, you just end up ignoring it, which is not what a developer wants you to do when it comes to notifications, because what if it's an actually important notification? Well, they've already trained the user to ignore everything because that pops up every single time. Yes, I can only send a wire to a domestic. All right, apparently I need to call in order to send an international wire. Well, that's inconvenient and a little old fashioned, wouldn't you say? You need to physically call someone and tell them routing numbers and swift codes. Right, 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 seems a little old fashioned. What next? I'm gonna write a paper check to someone. <laughs> Boomer joke. Okay, let's click on menu one more time. Okay, okay, okay. So we've already established that Payments Hub means absolutely nothing. By the way, see that notification up there? It's back. <laughs> click out of that. Don't worry, he'll be back. All right, let's continue exploring and pulling out our mustache hair in frustration, shall we? Let's click on administration, shall we? All right. Administration has security preferences, alerts, and user management. Now, think about those options for just a second. Don't you think those would be under settings just down below, right? Security preferences, alerts, user management. Those would be settings. Why is it under administration? What the heck is administration? It would be under settings. Well, as we scratch our little fuzzy head and wonder what's under settings, let's click on it. Oh, there's one option. Literally, one option under settings. Why even have a drop down when there's one option anyway? By the way, if you click on messages, they won't respond to you. And that concludes this incredibly high level yet mildly infuriating tour of the BECU Business Services app. And this is one of the reasons why I'm transferring my business elsewhere and how every single person who says, should I sign up for a BECU business account because they're pretty decent with my personal finances? I would say, run. It is like dealing with a totally different bank. I know, credit union, they're, they're not a bank. It, it, it's, it's wonderfully infuriating and you will be thanking me later when you realize that you transferred to Chase Bank and you're like, okay, this is why the little hipster over there decided to recommend anything but the BECU business services app.